Good morning and welcome to Cram and Kirk Daily Devotions. Today's reading is from the book of Colossians, chapter 2, verses 6 to 7. So then, just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in him, rooted and built up in him, strengthened in the faith. Our theme continues with a favourite carol. First, let us pray. Loving God, your eyes see the whole world and nothing escapes your sight. Help us feel your presence this day and always. Amen. O Come All Ye Faithful is a favourite carol and the first letter O is one of the great seven Advent antiphons which run from the 17th until the 23rd of December beginning with the Latin sapientia, meaning wisdom, and ending with Emmanuel, meaning God is with us. The antiphons act as a lens to reflect the various feasts and seasons of the liturgical year. They are a verse sung before or after a psalm or a canticle with a biblical text appropriate to the season. The words are taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah and it is believed they were the first recited as far back as the 7th century by Cistercian monks. Antiphony was introduced into Christian worship by Bishop Ignatius of Antioch after he had a vision of two choirs of angels. Adeste Fidelis, the Latin version of the carol, is believed to have had political connections and been written as an ode to Bonnie Prince Charlie at the time of the Jacobites. The carol incorporates very God begotten, not created, which is a direct quotation from the Nicene Creed. If we take the first letter of each of the seven Advent antiphons and move backwards, they spell out the Latin word ero cras, meaning tomorrow I will come. Now we often hear it said that Christmas is for the children and the light of anticipation burns brightly in their eyes. Jesus said that we should be like little children, however discernment is required, as there was once a child who, when visiting Santa, discovered that he was a little hard of hearing and couldn't quite catch what she said she wanted for Christmas. Imagine his surprise when she suddenly shouted, It's okay, I'll be back tomorrow with the Argus catalogue. Anticipation knew no bounds. The shepherds had no Zoom meetings, and yet the heavenly host appeared. The wise men did not travel on a bicycle, they followed the star, and they must have stopped for a rest and would just eat. Mary and Joseph found the inn was unavailable, and yet the innkeeper had a light bulb moment of creative hospitality, where the deliveries of the lamb and the gifts were made to the stable. Soon we will be wrapping Christmas gifts for others, and we might imagine wrapping our arms around the receivers and ask that our prayers help those, seen and unseen, to feel the arms of the one born that happy morning, wrapped around them this Christmas, wherever they may be. Let us pray. Loving God, help us remember the birth of Jesus, that we may share in the song of the angels, the gladness of the shepherds, and worship of the wise men. We give special thanks for rapid scientific and medical advances during this current health crisis. We pray for people in places of turmoil and conflict, all who experience discrimination and unfairness, and particularly for anyone who is lonely or bereaved. May they feel your arms around them this Christmas. And now the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all now and evermore. Amen.